Hello everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. Today we're going to take a look at a new Swiss Army knife that I picked up. So a couple days ago I picked up this Huntsman with the walnut wood scales. So I picked this one up at REI. Um, recently they had their 20% off coupons for members. And then you also got your members rewards money back. So... I had spent enough last year that I was able to actually pick this one up at no cost. So that was kind of nice. But yeah, I thought we'd kind of take a look at it. Um, this is my first one I've had with the wood scales. Um, I did give away one from my last giveaway. And I, you know, it's the first one I'd ever seen in person. And I really liked it. So I thought, you know, I'm going to pick up one of these in the Huntsman. So it was kind of one that I had my eye on. Try to give you guys some kind of close-ups of it. Sorry the lighting isn't the best tonight. But I think it's pretty nice looking. Now this is one that I might need your guys' help with. Um, for the scales, I was unsure if I should treat them or not. I was reading on the Vitorinox website and it talked about oiling them. But it didn't really give a suggestion of what oil to use. So I was thinking kind of like a mineral oil, um, like something you'd use on a cutting board or something. So let me know if you have one of the wood scale ones, if there's something to use in particular. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at it. I'll go through the tools real quick, show you guys what's on the Huntsman, and then we'll compare it to a couple other Victoria Knoxes that I have. So on this one, um, you get a small blade. So it's like a one inch blade. I figure I'll just use that as kind of a backup blade. And then you get the full size blade, fingerprints all over it, but full size blade. Um, and then with this one, you get the saw, which is kind of neat. I've never had a saw before on one, so I'm kind of excited for it. Take it out and test it. I've heard that they're pretty good, so I'll be excited to use it. Um, for this one, you do also get a pair of those Victoria Knox scissors which I know work well. I've used them a few times uh, on another one. So I know they always work really good. Um, you get the kind of like the can opener with the small flathead slash Phillips tool. And then you get the larger size flathead with the bottle opener and the little wire cutters. Now this may be a common knowledge, but something I didn't know is this tool has like a stop. So it has actually a, a stop on this one that stops it in the in the middle. I didn't know that that was for like using it as a screwdriver for like more torque. Um, I didn't know that. So like this one just swings freely open, but this one actually has a stop. So maybe that's common knowledge, but it was new to me. So thought I'd just share that. And then on the back side, you get the um, corkscrew which is something that I probably will never use. Eh, maybe for something, but I don't drink wine or anything, so I don't know. Maybe I'll find a use for it. Um, you get this little hook, um, which I believe they call a parcel hook. I think it was something that they you know, used a lot more in the past. I'm not really sure what I'll use it for. I was kind of thinking about maybe, because I have like those little firebox stoves, and I thought, well, maybe if I pull a little grill off or something, maybe I can hook the grill and pull it off when it's hot so I don't burn myself. But I don't know. Just an idea. And then the last tool you get is the um, the awl slash sewing needle. So you can use it kind of as an awl or you can thread it thread through it and sew like some leather um, or thicker material. So, yeah, let's compare it to some of the other ones that I have. I only have two other Swiss Army knives, so not a big collection. Uh, I have the Tinker, so just the regular Tinker, um, not the Super Tinker. And then I have the Pioneer X um, with those Alloc scales. So you can kind of get a look at the three different handle materials. Um, you know, obviously the original plastic and then the wood and then the Alloc. Now on these two, by having different handle materials, you do sacrifice the scale tools. So like the toothpick and the tweezers. For me, that's not a big deal. Um, you know, I, those two I probably won't really use. If it's something you're interested in, then just take note of that when you buy these. Um, as far as size-wise goes, the Huntsman is, you know, quite a bit thicker. 
than these other two. So I would say almost half the size as the, the Tinker. And then the Pioneer X is definitely thinner, um, but the Pioneer X is a little bit thicker than the Tinker. So I don't know if I'll be able to like show a real size comparison, but you can kind of tell in the handle material too. The wood and the plastic are pretty similar in thickness for the scales. Uh, the Alex material is the thinnest. So you might be able to kind of get a look at that. Um, as far as the tools and stuff go, they're pretty much the exact same tools. The only real difference is, is the main blades. So in the Tinker, um, the main blade between the Tinker and the Huntsman are basically the exact same blade. Um, pretty much the same shape, same depth, and the same thickness on the blade. Um, the Pioneer X is a little bit different. Um, it does have a thicker blade. Um, and then also the bellies on them is actually larger on the Pioneer X. And I, the blade is also just a hair longer too, it looks like. So a little bit of difference between those three, um, just in case you were interested in the difference. But um, pretty much I want to just go over the Huntsman today. But I thought I'd just show those differences. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this knife. Um, you know, I think it'd be a good, a good fishing knife or something. Maybe I'll throw it in the, like the tackle box or the tackle bag and, uh, you know, kind of see how those scales kind of wear in, you know, it'd be kind of, I had a couple, um, like fillet knives that are old fillet knives and the handles look kind of cool, you know, when they get a little bit of wear and stuff on them. So that's what I'm kind of hoping for this one. But that's why I was curious about the treatment of the handles because it probably obviously will get wet at some point if it's used for fishing or it could get used, you know, left in the rain, not left in the rain, but could get rain on it or something like that. So, um, you know, I just kind of want to take care of that wood. You know, I don't mind scratches and little nicks and stuff, but I don't want it to crack or dry out or something. So we'll kind of uh, maybe look into that. If anybody's got any suggestions, let me know. Maybe on how often they do it also. Um yeah, I think the Huntsman's a pretty nice knife. Um, it's not super thick. Like, I don't think it'd be that big a deal in the pocket. Or if you were to put it, like, in the tackle box or something, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of the kind of what I wanted to show you guys today. Um, you know, as always, if you have any questions or something, feel free to write them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And then, uh, yeah, if you have any advice on those scales, let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.